is Force Earth 13 with the latest on Tropical Cyclone 07 B Gutter. And it's currently located 12 decimal 2 degrees north, 87 decimal 3 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds uh, down around 40 knots, gusting 50 knots. This information has been extracted from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre and here's their track on the cyclone. Tropical Cyclone zero seven B is located around six twenty seven nautical miles south of Calcutta, India, and tracking south south east at two knots. Now here's the uh, latest from the Indian uh, Meteorological Office, however, animated multispectral satellite imagery shows a small area convection associated with the low level circulation of tropical cyclone 07B. The initial position is based on an 89 GHz microwave image showing a small area of deep convection. The initial intensity of 40 knots is based on a SATCON estimate of 38 knots and is hedged between four currently intensities or intensity, apology for that, estimates of T2.5 35 knots from P. GTW and T345 knots from the KNES. Here's the NOAA floaters. Environmental analysis shows that the cyclone is experiencing favourable to moderate vertical wind shear, 15 to 20 knots. Continues maintaining a strong poleward outflow channel, but no equatorward outflow channel. Sea surface temperatures remain favourable between 29 and 30 degrees Celsius. The cyclone is quasi stationary, while between two subtropical ridges located to the west and the east. Within 12 hours, the steering ridge located to the west over the Arabian Sea will become the dominant steering feature and will allow uh, 07B to track south or southwestward, increasing in forward speed. And now we have a look at some tracks followed by intensity guide. Favourable to moderate environmental conditions, vertical wind shear, sea surface temperatures will allow for a steady increase in intensity reaching 60 knots within 48 hours and after that tropical cyclone CO7B will track west southwest making landfall south of Chennai shortly after the 72 hour mark has been reached. Tropical cyclone will track over India then merge into the Arabian Sea where it will re-intensify reaching 40 knots by the 120 hour mark. And one model is indicating a Cat 3, although the majority of them are under Cat 1. Dynamic model guidance is in a fairly good agreement, indicating a southwestward and westward track. However, the Navy's Def Jam HWRF 
indicate a more westward track. Now we have a look at various uh, models. Dry Typhoon Warning Centers forecast track favours the southwestward then westward track placed near the multi model consensus. However, low confidence in the centers forecast track and rafe height is 12 feet. Finally, here's the overall tropical picture from the center. There will be more for Force 13. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and fool 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>